in the last lesson, we saw that we could create a variable to hold a value and insert that value inside here by using that dollar sign. This is called string interpolation. But if you're new to programming and you don't know what variables are, what strings are, and how these things work together to produce this effect, then I want to quickly spend this lesson talking about variables in Dart. So if you're an experienced programmer and you know all about variables, then feel free to skip the next two lessons where I talk about variables and data types and head straight to the next lesson where we continue building out our Dice app. But for everybody else who's with me, let's head over to our slides and let's talk more about variables in Dart. Now, variables at the end of the day, is just a container. It's just a fancy way of saying a data container. So we've known each other for a little while now, and it might be time for me to introduce myself. My name is Angela. Now, that's a piece of information that you might hear as a human very frequently. My name is this or my name is that. Or I might tell you that I live in London and my life ambition is to eat my own body weight in sushi. But if you were a computer, all of this information would be best stored as a variable. So you would have a variable that's called name and you would store the value Angela in that variable. So the full line of code would look something like this. Var is a keyword that says I'm creating a variable. Then I give that variable a name. So in this case, it's called my name. And I set what that variable is equal to. So in this case, it's Angela. And all the rest of it, such as the semicolons and the equal sign, they're all just syntax. And syntax is just computer grammar. Just as we would have commas or full stops or colons in the English language, computers also have their own grammar. And this grammar differs from programming language to programming language. But in Dart, this is what it looks like when you create a new variable. Now, what's actually happening here? Well, essentially, when I write the keyword var, the computer builds a box and then it looks to see what name it should give that box. So this one's called my name. And then it looks at the right hand side of the equal sign to see what it should put into the box. In this case, it's the word Angela. And the semicolon just says, well, this is the end of my line of code. So you can close the box now. So now I have this shelf and as you create more and more variables, you'll build up shelves full of these boxes. And whenever you need one, you can go ahead and pull it off the shelf and open it to see what's inside. So for example, if I wanted to print the value of the variable I just created, my name, this is how I would write it. I would use the print function and inside the parentheses, I would tell it what I want to print. And in this case, it's not actually the words, my name that will be printed. It's the value of that variable. So by running this line of code, the computer is going to pick up that box that's labeled my name from the shelf. It's going to open it up, see what's inside, and it's going to put that into the console. And in reality, what you'll see is the output from Flutter saying the words Angela. In order for you to try this out yourself and not just take my word for it, head over to dartpad.dartlang.org and I'll include a link to this in the course resources as well. And I want you to delete everything inside the Dart file here other than the void main. So from our functions lesson, you know that this is a function and this is the function that acts as the entrance point to all of our Dart programs. And at the moment, I'm telling it to do nothing when it starts. And so when I hit run, nothing happens. But if inside here, I told it to maybe create a new variable, let's call the variable my name, and let's set it to equal the string that's Angela. So strings have these single quotes around them in Dart. If you come from other programming languages, you might see double quotes, but this is the convention that we work with when we're writing Dart code. And then I'm going to tell the computer that I'm done with my line of code by closing it off with a semicolon. So now that I've created my variable, I can use it and I can use it by referring to its name, which is this part right here. Let's go ahead and write a print statement. And inside the print statement, let's get it to print my name. 
and close off that line of code as well. And now let's click run and you will see the word Angela, which is the value of my name printed in our console. So now if at a later date, I decided that I didn't really want to have the same name anymore, or if I wanted to change the value that's stored in my variable, I can simply reassign it. So I can say now my name is equal to Jane. And what will happen is that we'll fetch that box that's labeled my name, we'll take out Angela from inside it, and we'll put the new value inside. So now my name is equal to Jane. So now if we head back to our dart pad, and I change the variable my name to equal a new value, right? Let's say I'm now called Jack Bauer. And I go ahead and move my print from that line to this line. What do you think will be printed now? Will it be Angela or will it be Jack Bauer? All right, so hooray for those of you guys who got it right. Now in Dart, when you're inside a function, so inside a set of curly braces, the code runs from top to bottom. So at this stage, if I had a print statement, then it would print out Angela because my name is still equal to Angela. But at this point, I modify my name to make it equal to Jack Bauer. So when I print it here, it's now equal to Jack Bauer. And when I click run, you'll see first my name, is Angela will get printed and then Jack Bauer will get printed after it's been changed. Now, what if I decided to change this variable to something a little bit different? What if I try to make it equal a number, say one, two, three? Well, now you can see already the Dart compiler is warning us that the value of type int can't be assigned to a variable of type string. And if I click run, then everything crashes and I've got some errors inside my console telling me pretty much the same thing. So what is an int and why can't it be assigned to a string? Well, if you're interested in finding out about that, head over to the next lesson where we discuss about Dart data types. So hopefully I'll see you there.